Good morning. So I want to take a bike ride, but first I need to fix my bicycle. We're having some great weather today. A lot better than yesterday. Most of the air is blowing by the fill. <laughs> that was expected. And I will show you why. Now don't mind those uh, howling cows. The uh, calves got uh, separated from the mother. So they've been complaining all day. Looks like the explosion came from here. And that was uh, to be expected. Because, well, the other day I took a short bicycle ride, like I uh, almost do every day, because I'm trying to lose some weight. So I can hopefully stop using those freaking blood pressure medication that uh, is slowly fucking up my life because of the uh, cold hands I always get. Anyway, um, at some point I thought I had picked up a piece of sticky shit and I actually tried to kick it off with my uh, clocks but I failed so I had to uh, get off the bicycle and then I noticed uh, that the uh, inner tube was coming through the uh, tire in my defense it uh, was getting late and the sun was about to set and this time of year the sun sets rather early it's only uh, I don't know, three weeks till it is the shortest day. And after that, we're heading back into the right direction. But first we gotta go through that awful winter. Um, I tried to let go some air, because the uh, inner tube was rubbing against the fender. But that misfired, because uh, before I knew it, the whole valve came out. And all of the uh, air was gone. And then I had to take a walk, maybe five kilometers, which isn't too bad. I could use the exercise. Anyway, I still got that uh, tire that came with the uh, uh, rim that I got from my neighbor. And it's in a lot better shape uh, than this one. Ironically, only a few weeks ago, I replaced uh, the tire at the rear and uh, mounted the rear tire, the old rear tire, on the front because the tire that used to be on the front was in terrible shape. I had to get my, uh, well, I would say tire irons, but they're from plastic. That new rear tire that I mounted from the uh, action shop, they are super cheap, only 6 euros, but they are terrible. They are very stiff and I had to uh, spread the frame a whole lot to get enough room to install the uh, tire. They are also rather heavy and look like they are built for a tank. And now I need to get my wrench. Alright, now it's time to uh, replace the tire and these ones I can throw away. So here's the tire that came uh, on the rim from the wheel that uh, I got from my neighbor. The sides are getting a bit uh, delimitated, but overall it's not too bad. This one is the one that came from the bike, and apart from this hole 
it is definitely not the worst tire I ever used. Now we should also have a look at the uh, hole in the inner tube. Well here's the hole. It's a nice uh, starburst pattern. Well let's install this uh, old tire. Where's the fell hole? And there it is. I noticed that more and more people are actually subscribing to this channel. Don't do that. Don't give big data what I want. This is only a practice channel and maybe for some personal videos. And before I know I will uh, be spending more and more time on this. I just need a channel to practice my English on because that got a little bit screwed up. When I had that little brain fart last year, last winter. It's almost a year now. It is actually getting a little bit better, although concentration is definitely not the same as it was before. That's one side installed, now the other one. Uh, where is the valve? Found it! It was on the wood lathe. Alright, time to reinstall this on the bicycle. So I'm actually curious how long this brand new tire will last compared to that used tire. And considering that this bicycle is spending most of its time outdoors, it will probably die from uh, uh, UV light exposure and uh, dry rot. Spring washers. It might actually be the whole reason for this video. Well, I have to do this up really good because I don't want to lose the uh, front wheel like I did at some point in the past with my mountain bike. Although we, we don't have any mountains in this country. It's more cross-country cycling. Fun though. I wish I could still do it. Anyway. I won't go uh, for a ride now. After I put some air into the tire. Ah, oh, stupid bicycle pump. Most of the air is passing by the uh, valve. Okay, that has to be good enough. I'm out of here. Ah, something wrong here. Here's an, another valve. Hopefully that one will work better. Maybe there was some dirt in there. The thread on this valve stem might also be a, a little bit damaged because it's kind of hard to turn. The joys of uh, <laughs> an old bicycle.
that's hard enough. Hopefully it won't leak. Again. All right, it's coming out. What the fuck is going on here? I think it might be dirt. I have no idea how long this uh, uh, tire and inner tube were laying outside at my neighbor's. Well, I never had this kind of trouble before. Well, I don't hear any air escaping, so I hope it's okay. Because I don't want to end up uh, walking again. I did that uh, three days in a row last summer, when for some reason. Uh, I had a flat tire every time. I'm out of here. Do some fitness. Needed a bit more air. But on closer inspection, this tire is definitely not as good as I hoped it would be. It is probably waiting for the same faith as the other one. But at some point, I will be walking again. But that's okay. I'm willing to do that. Well, that didn't uh, take long. I'm back with another flat tire. I should have uh, checked before I left. So I found a leak. Hopefully there are not uh, any more. So, and now we wait. That doesn't look promising. And I should also clean this thing.